Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 25th of July. The planets are conspiring in a hugely positive way this week to put you in the spotlight. This is going to be a tension that you may or may not initially welcome. After all, you can be intensely private, certainly about your personal interests, but there are times when we have to step up, move into the gaze, and take on extra responsibilities. And this could be a week when you're thinking very much about your career, your role in life in general, and the areas where perhaps you lead things. It could be within your family, it could be within your group of friends, or around your personal goals and objectives for the future. But what makes this week so fascinating is all of this can be an area of, that's ripe for change and rejuvenation. And you're someone who tends to really stick at things for the very long term. And you don't often change and deviate from your course once you're really on to something that inspires you. But when you do get to the end of a particular journey, then you can go through a period of complete alteration, which can be not only transformative, it can actually be really cathartic. It doesn't necessarily mean it's easy, however. But the role of Uranus cannot be underestimated this week. It's linking brilliantly with Mercury, suggesting the opportunity to move in a new direction could come up quite suddenly. And you may be asked to listen to your hunches, your gut feeling on whether you should go for something or not. And this instinct is also blessed by the role of Venus, which is helping you potentially to network effectively with people in positions of influence to build your relationships up through cooperation, through give and take and negotiation. And the sun is there in the background too, giving you a lot of drive, determination and clout and a lot more authority if you want to use it. It just depends on you. The planets are not telling you what to do. They're this there in the background and it's up to us whether we respond to this or not. We still have complete control over the process. But I think there are some challenges this week. Mars in your sign is going to clash briefly with Mercury on Thursday and Friday. This could lead to a bit of an argument, especially with someone that you're working with, a colleague or a boss. It's important that you don't become defensive in the, ch in the face of this potential for change. And also the quarter moon, which occurs on Tuesday, suggests that even if you do try to be the authentic person you feel you are, you still may encounter someone who feels that you're actually cultivating your message to suit what they want to hear. And fortunately, this is one of those quarter moons which you almost can't win on because the more diplomatic you are, the more other people may mistrust where your, what your motives are. Yet if you're completely authentically yourself, they might, might not like that either. So you need to find a little bit of a middle way between uh, understanding what's expected of you and yet being true to yourself. Bit of a challenge, but not one you can't overcome. However, at the very end of this week, Mercury moves into the most friendly part of your horoscope. Wonderful for networking, and it could be that someone you know can be quite important to this whole process of change, which I feel can shake up or rejuvenate your uh, role in the world at large. Now, it could be that you're going to stay in exactly the same profession or environment, but maybe the role is going to change slightly. This may come from outside of you, or you may push for it. You may decide to go for some training to upskill in order to meet new demands or make yourself eminently more employable. Or it may be something that's much more radical, a complete change and going in a new direction, which in fact could prove to be the most exciting alteration of, to of all. With Saturn still clashing with Neptune, just be aware that if you are tempted to splash out money, especially around any kind of entrepreneurial idea of your own, just make sure you really do your research extensively and you don't let your idea of how you'd like things to be influence what the actual reality really is. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.